Hey crafters, I am back with another drill with me. I am working on my Heartful Diamonds 70 by 100 diamond painting. And I'm gonna go ahead and jump, jump in real quick. Uh, let me actually show you what I've gotten done since the last drill with me. And I'll, let me zoom my camera out. I should've been better prepared. I went ahead and started work on the black outline pieces. I got a large chunk of all the black outline done in the bottom part of my canvas. First Snow White and up through the top of Snow White. This is all done and a small portion over here. Been very motivated today, but I didn't do a drill with me for that since it was all the same color and I was just quickly moving through. So this outline is done. <laughs> Unfortunately, just doing that outline took me about two hours. <laughs> I got really distracted. Um, two of the three kids are sick, so it was a lot of stopping and starting and stopping and starting. But uh, some really good progress. Today, for the drill with me, I wanted to focus on the green that I had in the canvas. It's beautiful, vibrant, my favorite color, and I wanted to get um, get a large chunk done of the green. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. Kind of zoom in, get a really good angle for you guys. I might start here and work my way around. Just to give you a heads up, the white arrow over to the right, I do not have that one out of its drill bag yet. I'm gonna go this weekend and get Tupperware since I ran out of space. Excellent, excellent comments about using Tupperware. And I will be able to work on that one after the weekend, but right now I'm gonna focus on these up arrows and these double slashes. Starting with the up arrow, that is going to be DMC 910. And it's a really, really beautiful green. Let me try and get a good view because it's coming across a little dark today. Mm -hmm. There, okay. Okay, this top part right here, I think has very good light on it. So what you're seeing there is exactly what I'm looking in front of me. What I see, this bottom part is a little bit darker. So focus on the top. And again, this is an up arrow. And this is for the up arrow. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I never know what to do with my drill tray while I'm working. I want you to be able to see the color, but it also kind of takes away, and I don't want it to stick to the canvas. Okay. Wow. So I got a chance to sit down and look through all the comments on my first video for this project of organizing. I was happy to see that there were some other people that said they do not like prepping as well. I, I'm a very organized person. I love color coding, labeling, but the, the getting all the prep done for the drills is just not, not something I enjoy. I think it's because it takes a lot longer than I would have thought. I also, really good tips about using Tupperware for drill holders using plastic baggies. I like the idea of using the plastic baggies, but here in Tunisia, it's actually difficult to always find the little baggie you want. Like I just remember when I was in Virginia, uh, the grocery store by our house was giant and I could go into a giant, buy Ziplocs with a little like zip um, pinch, pinch top and um, I could just always go into the store and, and find that. Sandwich size, snack size, I could always do that. In Tunisia, you really have to go with what's available. And they do have bags that have that little squeeze top, but they're not that popular here. The ones that I can always find would be bags just like the open top and a little twist tie. So I think finding Tupperware to use for my extra drills is a really good idea. And the idea, I, I, quite a few people said, like you just put one box in your drill organizer of the color that you 
you're working on, put everything else in the Tupperware. And it's like those expert, those expert tips. That's why I'm really thankful that I have people helping me in the comments. Um, I, I don't know. What, I don't know why I didn't even think of that. And it makes complete sense. It's, I, I almost was smacking myself of like, why didn't you think of this? But I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to go out this weekend. My wax is like not sticking that well. I'm going to go out this weekend and get some good Tupperware that I can use. Yeah, my wax is just not working for me. I need to get the blue wax. I need my Amazon order with my little pick-me-up pen to come in. I need to try some other options because the, the pink wax is starting to annoy me. But uh, here in Tunisia, Tupperware is actually, it's pretty affordable. You can get Tupperware anywhere from one dinar all the way up to, you know, like the really fancy, like a piece of Tupperware, like 18, 20 dinar. And just to give you an idea, right now the exchange rate is a little bit below, a little bit below three to one. So one US dollar equals 2.97 Tunisian dinar. So you can easily get three little things of Tupperware for one US dollar. Um, plastic bins, which I've been buying a lot of since I'm trying to start organizing before the move. You can get one of those big plastic bins for 20 dinar. So about, oh gosh, math, $7.00. And I just remember in Target, those things are pretty expensive. They're, you know, you might get them on sale for $15, $20. So um, I'm going to buy a lot of Tupperware. Also, we're, um, my husband and I, we're going to go out and do a date night this weekend. So I think, like, on our date night, I'll be, I'll be saying, hey, I want to go to the grocery store, and I want to look at Tupperware without the kids. <laughs> Woo! Wild time. That way I can spend a lot of time looking and figuring out what I want. They have, and it wouldn't be feasible, but they have these really good size um, Tupperware or plastic containers with a lid, with a little lock shut lid. They're about the size of a soda can, but that's probably too big. Or maybe that would be good for three tens, but probably too big for the other colors I need. So I'll figure out a good system based on what they have. And oh, I just saw it. I had a little puppy hair. Yeah. I was working, I did the black outline with my dog in my lap. So I've noticed a couple of puppy hairs I've had to pull off. Axel, a couple of Axel ones. And I um I'll put it at the beginning, all the way to the beginning of this video because now we're eight minutes in. But if you have any questions about Tunisia, foreign service life, living overseas, international moves, oh my goodness, uh, ancient Roman runs here, managing twins, <laughs> please ask. Go ahead and ask down in the comments and what I'm going to do, any questions that I get, I'm going to roll over into my next drill with me and answer them as uh, something to just talk about in the video. But I tried to think about my week. What could I, not my week, just like the past day, what I could talk about. And then I was like, no, I can't talk about that on a video. I, sh I shouldn't talk about that. And it's like, why not? I've had, I had a really bad day with my oldest. She um she had some bad behavior at school and it started a tantrum after school that ended up lasting like a 24 hour tantrum. So I'm gonna go back to when it started. Well, two of the kids right now are sick. Tiny little colds, nothing, nothing serious, not a big deal. And one of them, uh, the baby and the younger twin, they stayed home with me. Well, the baby's always home with me, but I'm making this more confusing. So the older twin goes to school. I pick her up 
and she could not find one of the little crafts that she worked on that day. Looked all over, wasn't in her cubby, uh, wasn't in the little art, art center, or the room they do their arts and crafts. And this has happened before. Usually, you know, it just needs some time to dry and we get it the next day. But she was really upset. She wanted it. And looking back, I understand she wanted to show her sister who wasn't at school. She was really proud of her work. She wanted to show me. But um, she just didn't communicate it that well and had a full blown out tantrum at the front door of school. Kicking, screaming, yelling at her teacher. Really inappropriate. And you know, hindsight is 2020. She didn't nap at all. She was out of her comfort zone. Her sister wasn't at school with her. I can understand why she was a little on edge. But at the time, I was just saying like, no, you know, this is inappropriate. You cannot treat your teacher this way. You cannot act this way. You need to communicate. Please use your words. And she was really upset. I got her to calm down enough to walk to the car. She gets in the car and we were gonna go to the grocery store and she and her sister were gonna pick out these little like princess dress up shoes. So we get in the car, she's still having her tantrum and she's like, and I want my princess shoes. And I said like, look, you're not getting your princess shoes. You were really disrespectful to your teacher. You're rude to your friends. You just had a full out tantrum and that's not something that we're going to even discuss today. We still need to go to the grocery store and she was pretty upset about it. Fast forward to, we get to the grocery store. Her sister, who has earned the shoes, gets a little pair of shoes. And it's actually, it's, a, it's like a three pack of these, these, these tiny little princess plastic shoes. They're, you know, they're, they're not like super sturdy or anything. They're just little play shoes. So my original plan was, I'm gonna buy the three pack. They both get one. We have an extra pair for when the first pair falls apart because these are not sturdy at all, you know. So she sees that her sister is getting a pair of shoes. She is in the shopping cart sitting down with her sister sitting down and the little baby is in the like front little baby part of the shopping cart sister gets the shoes she freaks out she starts yelling at the top of her lungs in the store crying yelling screaming and um one second I just realized this is not the best light I'm gonna work on fixing this light pause story I will be right back okay I'm back um Really quick, I've mentioned this before, we have these like decorative bars on our windows and it's not bars for, I mean it is, I believe, probably for a, a safety reason, but also in Tunisian homes, they have these beautiful decorative bars on their windows. It's, it's like a piece of art, it's gorgeous. And because of that, when sun comes through the window at certain times of day, you can, you get these uh, spots where you can, see the bars in the sunlight and uh, I just want to make sure you guys have the best light and you can see the canvas really well. So bouncing all over the place back to the grocery store. So she starts yelling and screaming at the top of her lungs that her sister has princess shoes and she doesn't. So I would like to say I handled my cool so well. I didn't get mad at her. I just was like, okay, you're really gonna do this at the grocery store, okay. At the time, I only had one item in my cart and that was the princess shoes. But I did need to pick up a few other things. So I had the thought of like, well, do I wanna just put the shoes back and leave and deal with this on the way home or something? But then I was like, that's really not unfair. That's really unfair to her sister who has been sick, had good behavior, and earned her little, her little treat, her little shoes. So, 
Maybe this was the wrong decision. Maybe it was the right one. Everyone's going to have their own opinion. I keep shopping. I, I just kept going. I, what did I, I needed, uh, some spices. I went to the spice aisle. She is screaming her head off. And I, what else did I get? I, um, I needed apples. I needed yogurt, all these little tiny things. And she screams the whole time. And then she starts like standing up. She can tell that mm, her behavior is not getting the reaction that she wanted. And um, she starts standing up and hitting me, hitting my arm, leaning over and trying to hit my chest while I'm pushing the cart. So at this point, I, I promise you, I kept my cool the whole time. I kind of start laughing of like, this is actually happening. I am not letting this affect my day. I will get through this store very quickly, but I'm getting what I need. I'm not just dumping all this stuff out and leaving. I'm not going to have my whole schedule like derailed because of this. She, if this continues the whole time. You know, I'm in the bread aisle. She is yelling, screaming. She's like trying to climb out of the basket and I'm just letting her know, like, please don't do that. If you fall down, I don't know, you might get hurt. Just please don't. The difficult part is I struggle with the language here. I speak a little bit of Arabic and a little bit of French, but not enough that I can have a serious conversation about a child's tantrum. I was able to explain as people were coming up to the card of like, she wants something, but um, I told her she couldn't have it and now she's acting like this. But I wasn't able to understand what they were saying back, what they were saying to her. And I think that made things more, not frustrating, but just it just made things a little more difficult because I know people were trying to be like, it's okay, dear, it's okay. And because of the language barrier, I wasn't, you know, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't communicate. I was just like, thank you. I'm sorry she's acting like this. Um, I, I just need a few things and we're going to leave. We go to like the checkout and, um, and I checked out. She's still, you know, screaming the whole time. We leave. I get to the car and she starts calming down in the car and... I was like, look, because of your behavior, there is no TV. When you get home, you have not earned your screen time. You have not earned your TV privilege. And I want you to go upstairs into your room. You're going to have some time out. And that's when she decides to say that, well, when I get home, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit you even more. Something like that. And it's like, where, where did you even learn this like where is this coming from I was really confused and I had talked with my husband after of like where is she picking this up and that gosh that like 30 minutes in the grocery store or 30 minutes from like when she started her tantrum at school to then the grocery store to like back to the car that just really wore wore me out and I was so upset. I came home and she was up, she went upstairs playing and her sister who was still kind of a little sick was like laying down in bed and I just was like losing it, trying to keep myself together of like, what, what happened? What could I have done differently? And, um, you know, my husband came home. I told him about it. He talked to her and she's like, I was just joking around with mommy. Like, I didn't want to, I don't actually want to hit mommy. I don't want to actually hurt mommy. We had to have a conversation about like, well, when you say stuff, like your words have imp an impact. So it's like, you know, I just, that didn't make me feel bad, but it made me think like, oh gosh, she doesn't realize that her saying these things has such a deep impact. So I, need, I wanted to make sure that she knew like words saying you're gonna hurt somebody, saying you're gonna hit somebody, like that's really mean, that's that's bad, it can impact people, you don't realize that, you should never ever wanna hurt or hit anybody, always use your words. And I keep asking, even since this happened, like where did you, 
where did you hear this? Where did you, what, what made you want to say it? And she's like, I don't know. I don't know. So, I mean, they, they watch like some TV, they watch, um, a few cartoons like Disney Channel, stuff like that. Nothing that I would have, nothing that I think that kind of language and, and sayings would come from. So I don't know. I'm just going to have to monitor everything. Every, I mean, and I do, I do monitor everything, but maybe I missed something because I just don't remember any of our cartoons saying anything like that. But my goodness, it was, it was just a rough day when that happened. And, um, the positive, I always try to think of a positive and, uh, I, I, so I'm done with the up arrow. I'm going to move on to the double slash right here. So the positive is it really motivated me to get my, all my work done early this week for my job. And that made it possible for me to spend my Friday today, my Friday morning, sitting down and getting a lot of this outline done. And I don't know, I, I'm just trying to look at the positive, but it's been, it's been a rough week. Not a rough week. It was a rough day. Goodness. I mean, every parent has stories like that. You know, you have that, that day that you're going to remember where your kid just lost it. And yeah, this week I had that day going through the grocery store, crying and screaming. I'm going to fill in these little slashes. So, oh, I forgot because I was running my mouth. So this color right now, the slash is 911 DMC. And since I put the shade down, you know, the light that's coming in right now is really good. This is just, you know, one DMC number off from the other green. So I'm excited to see how as I get all of the different colors put on the canvas that are just one, one little shade, one DMC off to see how all the colors blend together. So that'll look really good. I have quite a few oranges and all of the oranges are just one DMC away um, apart from each other. So I think when I get to a section with a lot of orange, it's going to be beautiful. And I think that'll be looking around. There's just um, Cinderella's pumpkin, Jasmine's genie lamp. It's going to be really nice when we get there. But yeah, this, this canvas. So I've probably done, um, I've done the trimming. I've done some of the outline, and by the time I finish this, I'll be about f four hours in, four hours into the canvas, and um, you know, it looks like I've done a lot, but really, overall, the, um, the actual percentage is quite small. Yes, I can keep going. Um, I really should set like a good timetable of when I want to get things like when I want to try and have Snow White done like within you know two or three weeks but yeah I've <laughs> after the day you know the bad day it's it's nice to sit down and just do some drilling do some talking mm, it's coming up on the weekend I need to figure out, like we're doing our date night on Saturday. I don't know if I'll have this video up. I mean, hopefully, hopefully, you know, I don't want to, we'll see, unless I just don't get the time to do it. And, you know, our internet is not that great here. It, it can be really great, but I don't know if I mentioned this on a previous drill with me. Our internet cord runs out of the our house, the side of our house, and up into a tree branch, and then it wraps around a tree branch, and then there's a hole in the wall that it goes through our garden wall, and then pipes like out to the street. So 
even if it's an absolute beautiful day, but it's really windy and it, it's just the tree branch is swaying a lot. Or when those cats get in our tree and they're like jumping and bouncing all around, I have noticed some connectivity issues. So I could never assume something can immediately go up when I, when I film it, but okay. So date night on Saturday and I'm looking forward to that, but I wanna try and do just something really fun with the family also this weekend. Tunisia has really yummy ice cream and a lot of ice cream places kind of scattered all over. So maybe just taking everybody out for some ice cream and having a fun afternoon on Saturday is what we'll do. It just seems like we should do something all together and also be productive. Cause if we only have like a few more weekends here, before we move, like crazy, crazy to think about. Okay, I'm gonna move my canvas a little bit more. This Snow White's apple, oh, it's gonna be so beautiful when I get there. I think I have actually all of these colors. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I do. I have all of these colors put up in the, um, the drill organizer. So maybe one day um, I'll just do that. Just do the whole, uh, or a short Joe with B that is just the beautiful Snow White apple. Mm -hmm. oh, there we go. Gosh. I feel better already. Just kind of talking about my day. You can tell me your stories too about when you had a rough day. Oh my goodness. So I'm gonna try and get back to the beach. I don't think I'll go to the beach this weekend. It might still be a little colder, but I'm hoping it gets really warm before we leave so we can do a few more beach days. And it's crazy. I've definitely said this in a drill with me before. I mean, we live walking distance from the beach and when you're so close to it, it's interesting because when we first got here, it's like, we're always gonna go. We're always gonna go out and about all the time, but then, you know, it's winter and you just don't get go over there and next thing you know you're like my goodness i live at the beach and it's been a while since i've been there definitely not gonna have um a beach within walking distance in germany so <laughs> gotta get my fill while i can i never know what to do with my drill tray i don't want to take away from being able to see the canvas but I need it close, you know? Mm. Oh, um, if you are interested in doing this, this canvas, I will have the link down below. I got it as a gift, but I know it came from Amazon. And right now when I loaded it today, I think it was $44. I have seen it as low as $33. So if, you're interested in ordering this or you're interested in doing it in the future and you have a lot of time, go ahead and add it to either your wish list or your shopping cart because I've seen it for $11 cheaper than what it is right now. So when that price, price fluctuates and it goes down, then you will be able to get it at a good deal. I haven't seen it go higher than $44. There you go. Sorry, guys. I haven't seen it go higher than $44. So... Maybe that's its max. This is a really beautiful canvas though. I said in the first video, I love the vibrant colors. It is a massive canvas, so that's another reason why it costs so much. And I'm just noticing Heartful Diamonds has some really good quality, really good quality product. Also, and I'll show you this again. This is so silly and I'm gonna do it on the white. If I put my green drill like in somewhere where it doesn't belong, it's actually, it's like the glue is really easy to move it all around. And as a newbie, and when I just start chatting and chatting and chatting, I can get easily distracted and put it on the wrong space. So I like that it offers me a little room to make a, a correction, but it's really good. There we go. Ok, 
going to try and finish out this whole section of these little slash marks and just call it for today. Again, if you have any questions that you are interested in knowing, go ahead and put it down in the comment and I will answer it in the next drill with me. As I've said it before, I can just talk, 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 talk. But I wanna make sure that I talk, 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 talk about something you wanna hear. Hmm. Also got a recommendation of a really good drill organizer. So I'm gonna go, next time I do like my big Amazon order for a shipment, I'm going to check that one out. I'm gonna use the Tupperware to kind of hold me over for a little bit. And I'm gonna look at a different organizer that'll work really, really well. For my needs. Hmm. Goodness. I'm just trying to think of something to talk about. Um, I think my next post stitch is going to arrive soon. I'm really excited about that. I mean, the last thing I need is more crafts to work on at the moment, but I'm always excited when I get yarn in the mail. Oh, I ordered some stuff from Etsy. And I think I've gotten like both I've items or both sellers have sent me a shipping notice. So I am excited to get that. I ordered um, some plastic canvas items and I ordered this little uh, Girl Scouts DIY ornament. I thought it was just so cute for my kids to do and like a little gift. And I'll have to show you. So I don't know if you're the same way, but I feel that by the time Christmas comes around, I have so much to do on my plate. I work on the crafts I'm already doing and I don't really take on a new one I just just try to get everything done like don't add anything to my to-do list so when January comes around and everything's done and I'm actually settled you know I start looking more and more at the different Christmas stuff that's available really I'm so sorry I wasn't drilling on camera that whole time <sighs> sorry guys So uh, by the time January actually comes around, then it's like, oh, let me see the cute little stuff that's on sale, on clearance. So that led me down this rabbit hole on Etsy where I, I was looking at Christmas plastic canvas and I found a Santa plastic canvas garland kit from the 1970s. So it has these little pre-cut, um, little pre-cut Santas. <laughs> it looks like it has the original yarn. Um, if it's in good condition, I'm still gonna, I'll still use it. If not, I think I have enough yarn that I would be able to like substitute red for red and yellow and white and green as needed. And I'm so just so excited to do it. I'm just gonna dive all in and work on that um I mean that's small enough that I could do it while I'm in the states on home leave really li living out of a suitcase or I can start it after the move I also got and this was complete impulse purchase so I bought the Santa Garland thing and it showed me like other stuff for sale from that seller it was like an eight pack of plastic canvas, just square blank canvas in the shape of a coaster. And I'm like, oh, well, I mean, it was only a dollar. So I had to buy it. And for a dollar, that's a great deal. And I was already ordering something from the seller. So I could just put that in there as well. So I have that coming too. And... Now I get to go down the rabbit hole of trying to find some plastic canvas coaster designs that I want to do. And I don't know if I'm going to do 
Christmas or my kids are really into the Avengers right now. I can do Avengers and Princess or my husband is always into Star Wars. I can do Star Wars. But oh, another craft, another craft on my to-do list. Like I really need to add any more. I mean, I think at this point I would have to craft from the moment I woke up to the moment I fell asleep for months to get everything done that I've either currently started, like my works in progress, or everything that I talk about that I wanna do. Which don't get me wrong, I would absolutely love to craft from the moment I wake up to the moment I fall asleep. But um, probably not gonna be possible. <laughs> okay, it looks like I am um, starting to wrap up on the last bit of these little slash marks. If you hear that buzzer, my laundry is done. <laughs> Keeps going off in the background. It has this thing where it buzzes like four times, I think, to let you know that it's done. Oh, I don't wanna do laundry right now. I'd rather craft. Yeah, I think this is my last slash mark. I think what I might do is actually, I'm talking about if I'm gonna upload this one. Um, since I only go through two colors, I might like pause or cut off, edit this one, and then do another video with it, and then combine them together. I think I'll do that. Because by the time I actually edit this one down, it won't be any more than like 35 minutes, which is good. A short drill with me is also nice but I can upload a few more colors. Okay, so I think I'll do that. I'm gonna take a break, be responsible, go do the laundry, and I will be back. Oh, what is that? Ah, okay, there we go. Okay, talk to you later. Bye, crafters. Hey, crafters, welcome back. I'm gonna combine this drill with me onto the end, make it a second drill with me in this whole first video. But I got a lot of progress done after I stopped filming the video that you just watched. If you can see up here, I have the whole border around Snow White done. It was a lot of 310 drills and a lot of orange. And I have part of this side done. It's looking really, really nice. The different yellows and oranges all flowing into each other is absolutely beautiful. They're only one DMC off from each other, which is, is looking really great. I'm also kind of having that same thing with the greens. You just saw me do a few of them, and I've worked on putting some more green into this project. They're, again, only one or two DMCs off from each other, so it's a really nice fade that's going on in here. I'm going to continue today by working on Snow White's apple. So let me zoom in so you can get a really good view of what I'm gonna be working on. Uh, I have the clear sheet still on, let me remove that. And I'm gonna go ahead and start with this number eight, which is actually Symbol eight is color eight. So let me get to that box. And I'll update you on the weekend and some stuff that I was actually previously talking about in the beginning part of this video. So number eight is DMC603. Looks like a very pretty pink. It is like a little baby pink. There you go, it looks very nice. Since I already have it out, I'm also gonna do the top part here since it's the same one. So, whew, the last video, I don't remember everything I talked about, but I do remember I told you about my daughter's tantrum. We had such a nice weekend together. It was just as if my beautiful little baby girl was back at one point she was 
playing upstairs in bed with me. We're just kind of lounging. Maybe I was reading and she was playing with her stuffed animals. And she just kind of looks over at me and she's like, Mama, I'm so sorry for how I acted at the store. And it just made my heart melt. So we had a really nice weekend. Um, my husband and I went on a date night and we got sushi. I went to the grocery store and I bought some plastic containers for my drills. Um, they have a large selection, but trying to find something that would work really well with my drills, I was just kind of striking out. I'll show you what I did pick up. And I still have the stickers on them, but these little plastic, wow, it looks a lot bigger on screen. My goodness. <laughs> this plastic container was about 30 cents. I bought a few of these. It has a, a really good locking lid. So I went with that. And I had some suggestions in my comments for a great craft organizer, which is in my Amazon shopping cart. And I plan on buying the next time we do a large Amazon order. I try not to do a bunch of small orders because then we just have these, a lot of small boxes just being mailed all over the place, overseas, on airplanes, and I, it's just wasteful. So I try to get as much as I can and have it all be put in a large box instead of three or four or five or six small boxes. Anyways, wow, totally got off on a tangent there. But we had our date night. I went to an English uh, bookstore that opened recently here in Tunis, and I wanted to check it out because they had a large English section. And some of the bookstores here are carrying more and more English books. It's really great to see, and I just wanted to see what their selection was. Sorry about that, my camera started tilting, so I had to fix it. Um, we went to uh, the bookstore. I wanted to see what their selection was. And they had some interesting stuff. Um, usually here I see, oh, I finished the eights and I'm gonna move on to this percentage symbol. You see that's number 24. I'll get back to my story. This is another light pink. This is gonna be DMC 893. Oh no, did you just see what I did? I opened it too fast and it just like drills spilled. I did that with a 310. Actually, I had a tray full of 310s uh, over the weekend and I dropped it. And now there's just, I, I swept up as best as I could, but I keep walking around and getting black drills on my foot. Anyways, mm. here's how it looks. I have some really good light today, so it looks it looks very nice. Um, so, the bookstore. They had a large selection of Daniel Steele novels. Wasn't expecting that. Um, cause my husband is like, oh, well, what are you looking for? And I'm like, oh, I don't know. Just kind of seeing what, what they picked to have in their English selection since it's a store that just opened. And... It was like a whole, there was four rows of English books. An entire book bookshelf row was Daniel Steele books. And I'm like, okay. And then there's like classic ones. Um, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm totally blanking on the name. Like Jane Eyre, um, Austin, Austin. Oh my gosh, I'm... I'm so sorry guys, I am blanking on the name, but we had a lot of classic literature that was there as well. But I think that's really great for Tunisia. More and more people are interested in learning English. And I'm just, I'm seeing English books, English materials pop up all over the place. So we, uh, on the date night, also went to the bookstore. And yeah, I mean, just kind of ran errands, but I was so excited to be able to do that with a kid <laughs> and I, I was telling my husband I don't even remember the last time I went out just to a store on a Saturday night with, without a baby and I could look at stuff for as long as I wanted to I wasn't rushed so that was pretty exciting and then Sunday we spent most of the day around the, around the house but then we went to dinner and I'm actually gonna put a picture of the view we had where we went to dinner it's absolutely beautiful it's a restaurant that's on a cliff and you have a really beautiful view of the Mediterranean. It's like, I have two pictures, I only took two. And I looked at them later. Um, 
One is of me and my youngest posing for a photo. So it's mostly just us in the photo with very little in the background. The other is the view, but it was right at sunset. So it's not, it's surprisingly not the best view because it's like just after the sun went down. So it's a little dark and you can't see the horizon as well. But I'll slice in a photo so you can see. It was absolutely uh, really, really gorgeous. And it was surprisingly nice. We met up with a friend and we brought all three kids and they were well behaved. It was a great dinner, nice conversation. So really nice weekend, really, really nice to have some time to spend together as a family and just you know, be, be together. Oh, I turned that way too much. We're also, um, I feel like spring has sprung here in Tunisia on, on Sunday, it was 70 degrees. So we got to spend a lot of time outside playing too. So, yeah, really re rejuvenating. Um, you guys know what I'm talking about when you just have a weekend that it doesn't feel like it's rushed. You don't feel like all of your time is taken up. You can just enjoy yourself. And that was much appreciated to have a weekend like that. Oh, getting so good at my three spacer. I wanna show you guys as I'm working. Um, so the majority of what I showed you when I started this second video was done with the three spacer. The, um, the sections are small. Since it's kind of stained glass window, it's got the outline and a small colorful section. But by using the three spacer, it's gone quickly. I mean, I still struggle. Like you see right here, uh, I get two. I'm really good at getting two on my three spacer. But um, I need to uh, I need to do better with getting three. I'm sorry if I sound a little bit different. I'm not sure if I do or not. So we've all been fighting this cold and we've just been like the kids, me, my husband, I feel like we've all just been passing it back and forth to each other. And as of last week, like I got totally, I felt no longer like I was sick. Over the weekend, my husband starts feeling like he's getting sick again. And then this afternoon, I'm just kind of doing my work. I'm talking to the kids and I'm like, oh, mm, my throat feels a little scratchy. And oh, wow, talking like throat just feels really dry. And I just don't want to get sick again. My goodness. It's just we're just all passing it around to each other. Like the baby, the kids, it's just happening like that. And I, I tell you every single time I go and pick up my kids from school, it's just, you just walk in and immediately it's like one of the little kids in the class comes up and talks to you and some, you know, it's my kids too, coming and, and, and talking to the adults and they're like, hi, how are you? How? And then pff, they just sneeze all, all over you. I was like, hey guys, oh man, okay. <laughs> I I just feel like that always happens, like at least once once a week. But, so my voice sound to me, it's a little scratchy as I talk, but I don't know. Um I don't know if it's if it sounds different. I have some cough drops where maybe I think actually um after I do this, I might do some some tea. I am a coffee drinker. I drink coffee all day, four to six cups a day. But I think um, since I'm starting to feel a little scratchy, I'm going to switch over to some tea. And then I do have cough drops. Mm. There we go, that one, yeah, again, I'm really good at getting two on my three spacer. And then, I don't know if I'm actually doing this wrong, so if you take a look, I've got all three, but you can see here on the left, the third symbol is showing a little bit. I need to either, you know, you have to then go and kind of space them out a little bit, or I don't know if I'm just, if they get too close on my three spacer. I'm really liking it though, it has, helped me a lot that's how I've had such good progress in the I think the first video and this video all combined oh 
Dogs are barking. All combined into one. It's been about a day and a half for two days. So um, I've made a lot of progress. And hold on, dogs are barking. Let me get them calmed down. Okay, I'm back. You might still hear the dogs barking in the background. They are now outside. We're dog sitting, so we have two dogs. And I mean, you mix our little Chihuahua Axel with another dog, and they just, they bark a lot. They bark so much. It's, they see a cat, they bark. They see a bird, they bark. Um, on and on. So it gets a little bit louder when they're both together, but they're best friends. Like at night, they do the little dog pile and they cuddle up and they sleep together. It's really cute. Um, so you might hear a little bit more barking during my videos this week as they're both so excited. It's like dog camp for them. But I wanted to make sure I got them outside since the baby is sleeping. And thankfully, I don't hear him crying, so I don't think he got woken up. So now that I've gotten my three spacer down, I ordered that kit from Amazon when I very first started drill, um, doing uh, diamond paintings and drilling. And it had some larger ones. I think it had like a five spacer, a seven spacer, and then a nine spacer with a three spacer. Yeah, it had multiple ones like that. I don't know if I have a section on this canvas, maybe like down here in the blue, I could try out lar a larger um, drill pin, but I don't have that many opportunities since the sections are smaller. Oh. But. There we go, perfect. Oh, sorry guys. So. Yes, that's how it is going. Oh, so with diamond painting, I love it, but you guys know I like doing a lot of other crafts. I'm always interested in learning a new craft. I said in a previous drill with me that I ordered a plastic canvas set. Um, I ordered it off Etsy and the Etsy seller was named Tiffany's Place. And I'm done with the 893. I'm gonna put it back in its container. Oh, now the dogs are crying because they want to get back in. So I'm all over the place, but I'm going to go to this like two triangles next to each other symbol. That's the one I'm going to do next as I talk about my, my Etsy order. Okay, I don't know how many more distractions I am going to have. The dogs are back in. They were barking because they wanted to come in. And I'm going to keep talking about Etsy, but really quick. My double diamond, the this symbol, which I'm going to continue for the apple, is DMC891. I'm going to show you this, and then I'll get back to talking about my Etsy order and, and basically my new obsession right now that I can't stop thinking about. But here we go. This is coming across really, really well in the light right now. It's like this perfect red Valentine's Day heart color. It's just really great. Oh, my hands are shaking. Mm. Too much coffee. So I ordered, and I mentioned this in a previous drill with me, I ordered a plastic canvas from Etsy. It arrived really quickly and I bought it from the Etsy store called Tiffany's Place. I think it's Tiffany's Place. And Tiffany is spelled with an I. And she has some like different bows and pot holders, things like that, that she made but she also has a small selection of plastic canvas items and the plastic canvas items are vintage. I ended up searching through Etsy and I was looking for Christmas items because now that Christmas is over, I actually have time and it's like, oh, I see Christmas item stuff like on sale and anyways, I was looking on Etsy at different Christmas plastic canvas and I bought a Santa Garland kit. Here's what I really like about this. The kit is the original kit from 1971. Mm-hmm. Has the plastic canvas in it, has the instruction booklet, has the yarn, 
all of it and it arrived. I am extremely excited about this item. I filmed an unboxing. Maybe I'll put that up. Um, maybe I won't. I don't know. We'll see what I get to. But I, I was thrilled. It even has the original rubber band that came around the yarn that's just like as soon as I touched it fell apart. Fell apart into pieces. And I checked the yarn. You know, it's it's pretty old. <laughs> <laughs> but the yarn, it still felt great. It was worsted, probably like a Red Heart yarn, and it didn't seem at all messed up. I mean, I or at all like it had been aged or taken out. Um, it has been in this box or this, this plastic package. So I'm super excited to get started on that. I don't know if I'll be able to do it now, but I was thinking when we're traveling around the United States, that could actually be a really good craft for me to bring with me because it's going to be small and I can easily put that either in a carry-on or I can put that in my luggage as we drive all over. So that got me thinking to this new obsession that I have right now and I don't know why I have a bee in my bonnet about this but I really want to do my own advent calendar for my kids. I thought about doing cross stitch. I think that might be, I just couldn't find something I really, really loved, but I did find a plastic canvas advent calendar book. And I think I found it on leisure arts or leisurearts.com. I don't remember the exact website. I can put that in below. Oh, one of these fell out. Where's my tweezers? Where's my tweezers so I can get that out? Oh my gosh, I think the kids took them again because I can't find them. Why do kids like tweezers so much? I always find them in their doctor sets or something. Okay, so I found that on Leisure Arts. And that's something that I've just been looking at of, man, I really, really, really want to do this. And on Etsy, there are sellers that have, you know, the um, plastic canvas already pre-cut in the shape of the different advent calendar symbols, like, you know, a candy cane and a little teddy bear, gingerbread man. <laughs> it's like, I really don't need to take on anything else right now or any more crafts, but how wonderful would that be? Oh, I'm really looking forward to it. I mean, I haven't bought it yet. It's like, I'm looking forward to the idea of doing it. And then it's gonna arrive and I'm just gonna be like, oh, I'm so overwhelmed with all this crafts. I have two things I'm knitting right now one is a gift and they don't know about it and I don't even know if they watch the channel or not so I'm not going to say what it is or who it's for but the other is another baby blanket I told you in one of the videos I have quite a few friends that are pregnant one that is due in May I'm working on their baby blanket right now it's a boy and I picked out some really pretty I have a blue green and a gray color and it's actually gonna go to Australia. So it is kind of some thick yarn that I'm using because May in Australia might be uh, seasonal, season changing, and you, know, you gotta keep that baby warm. So I've got the diamond painting, I've got the two knitting, oh, some stragglers. I the two things I'm knitting, and I do, I knit a lot just when I'm kind of watching TV. I have my actual job. <laughs> I have the move that we're packing for. It's like, maybe maybe I just really like staying busy. The next one, oh, I should have gotten these up here. Those little triangles kind of scattered, but I was just so focused on the apple. I have a large patch of this number sign. I'm gonna work on that. This is just one DMC number off. It is 892. So let's go ahead, get started on this one. And I like that they're all just one or two off from each other because the fade, the color fade, that is, um, I've really enjoyed putting that, putting that on the canvas. Ooh, there. The color that you're seeing right now, that's a good description of 892. Again, another very pretty 
red, but this one is not as red as the other one, maybe a little bit of a toned down red. It looks very red on camera because it's so sparkly, but if you can, when we compare it to the one that I just did, you'll see it's a little bit more slightly toned down. Wow, those look, I mean, just one DMC off, but they look very close, very close. And I'm pretty sure I did not mess up. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. I see them next to each other. Now I get a better idea of how they look. Mm. That's really what's going on this week. I think it's going to be a busy week. The kids are really looking forward to Valentine's Day. So they did their Valentine's for school. They have a Valentine's Day party on Thursday. And... I mean, they're just, they're thrilled every day they wake up and they're like, it's today Valentine's Day. And I talk to them like, no, this is how many more days we have. And they're excited. Um, they can write their names and they had a nice time writing their names on all the little Valentines and then putting them, uh, like stickering them shut and picking who would get which Valentine. So that's exciting gonna try and do some little valentine crafting with them this week just uh like doing some construction paper valentine cards and then this weekend we have a three-day weekend it's gonna be president's day so no work on monday and we want to try and either visit another cool Roman site in the area, or get out and do something. Like I said, the weather is beautiful. We gotta take advantage of it. So we'll see. If I go somewhere, I'll definitely bring my camera and my knitting along. And I'll show you, I'll take you with me. This three spacer. Mm. Where have you been? I still like doing one at a time, but the three, three spacer is growing on me and I'm enjoying it more than I actually I thought I would. So. There we go. Mm. So a question that I got down in the comments on my previous video, I thought was pretty interesting and I don't know if you guys would find it as interesting, but I thought I would talk to you about it. I had a user ask why we're moving and it's a great question, like why leave some place that you really, really love? In the foreign service, we move every one to four years, depending on the country you are posted in. Um, that's how long you'll spend there. So in our high priority places, which I believe are, there's a few, I'm not, I know I'm gonna mess up and I'm not gonna name all of them. I believe Sudan or South Sudan, maybe South Sudan or Sudan, I'm gonna mess that up. Iraq is a high priority, Afghanistan, maybe Bangladesh. We have, we have no, not Bangladesh, uh, Pakistan. Pakistan is a high priority. Um, in posts like that, the family is not permitted to travel and attend and be at post. So the employee stays for one year. So they move there for one year. <coughs> oh, sorry guys. Mm, sneezed. Then we have two year posts. And our two year posts, I don't know all of them, so I really couldn't even begin to list, list them. But a two-year post would be somewhere that's probably a hardship post. It would be difficult to get certain goods. It might be a place that may have some secure security issues. And that's our two-year posts. When we got to Tunisia, Tunisia was a two-year post. Now it is... You see more and more items from Europe on the shelves. You see um, security has greatly improved. So Tunisia is no longer a two-year post. People really enjoy living here. I think they stay at a minimum three years now. 
and up to four years. And then you have posts that life is just really easy. Um, security is not as much of a concern and it is a uh, really good, you know, good quality of life posts. And at those places, we stay four years. And I know that Jordan, Jordan and Egypt, those are four year posts. Those are just the ones that are kind of fresh in my mind. They, we have a lot of them. Um, I think many of the posts are four years. But that's why. That's why we're moving. Our time in Tunisia is up and we're moving along. We're going to Germany. Here's where it's confusing. Germany is a four-year post, but for us, we're only going for two years. And I know I just talked about the difference in posts and how long you say, but our, our assignment there is only for two years. So after two years, we will move on to another country. And it just kind of keeps going and keeps going. And, you know, we'll keep doing this until, or we'll keep doing it because it's working really well for our family. We really enjoy it. And we're from the D.C., Washington, D.C. area. So we could always, you know, go back and work in, work in D.C., all of our families there, but I really enjoy the foreign service. And that is why we are getting ready to move. Again, I still don't have my move date, and I'm so sorry. I talk about moving every single video, but it is really a big life event that is coming up for us. And um, I mean, every day, it's the main thing on my mind. But besides crafting, it's just, you know... Um, looking around the house and figuring out what are we gonna take with us? What are we going to try and donate here or ask if any of our friends want? And um, it consumes us. It's a big, an in, in, international move. It just makes it harder. So that is that. And I'm almost done with this color. Let me finish these last couple ones. And this apple looks beautiful. Looks really, really great. Very sparkly. And I like how it flows. Maybe I don't have the best light on my canvas right now because it does look like these are the same color, but they're not. It's, yeah, I guess it's a little bit darker in here, but in the light that'll sparkle and look pretty great. <coughs> And I'm gonna do the last one for this apple. It is symbol C. And let me finish putting this one in and I will get you the DMC code. So for us, what is C? Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, yeah. C is DMC 666. And I actually don't have very many of that. Just one half of a case. And oh, this is a red, 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 red color. Dark red. There we go. Like a cherry lollipop. Dark, dark red. Let's see, I have a few. Oh, I didn't do the best at lining these up, but I have a few. Oh, see, I'm so good at getting two. Not the best at getting three, but I'm going to get the hang of it. And then getting them correctly on there. Um, yeah. Trying to think of some videos, some upcoming videos that I'm going to be doing. I definitely, you know, I want to do a video where I talk about what I watch on YouTube. Because I'm really at the point, um, and I might have said this in another, um, um, earlier in this drill with me or another video, you know, our, our internet is not the, the best, meaning our TV satellite hookup is also not the best. And I've just been watching so much more YouTube. You know, I have Hulu and Netflix, but I find myself more often 
watching another creator on YouTube. Just going really, you know, the, the independent route, watching less and less TV and more and more other creators. Or I've been listening a lot to YouTube music. I have um, I have an iPhone and it's it has this thing where you monitor your screen time. And maybe you guys are also doing this as well. I set it up and it was really great to help me figure out where a lot of my time was going to. And the number one thing is always YouTube. And I leave the app open. That way like the music can play or as I'm walking around, I can listen to a creator. But I'm always multitasking. I'm either helping with the kids or I'm doing some work or I'm diamond, I'm diamond painting myself. I'm listening to another creator while I'm working. And then now I get these updates from my phone. It's always on Sunday. It's like you were on your phone for six hours a day last week. I'm like, oh my goodness, six hours a day. Wow, I could be doing so much more crafting. But I just have to remind myself I'm not actually on my phone. I'm not actually using my phone. It's just open. And I mean, if I listen to music for an hour or two, then that right there is a huge chunk of it. Yay, look at Snow White's apple. It looks so good, I would take a bite out of it too. Got your back, Snow White. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off for this drill with me, but I'm gonna try and think of what I wanna do for the next one. Um, I will work on it a little bit more and make some progress tonight. Maybe I'll try and fill in these open spaces here. Now that I have the extra containers that I bought, I can open those drills that I had not originally put in my case and I can begin filling in the rest of this green down here. Or I can go back and work on this purple and this blue that originally I didn't have to put out. And the next drill with me, I might either do these beautiful white flowers or I might get some of her yellow dress in. This just looks so vibrant. I look forward to seeing this because all of the DMCs are just one coat off from each other and I think it'll blend nice. It'll look, it'll look really well as we're working on it. So thank you for watching crafters. Go ahead, leave me questions or comments down below. I love chatting with you. I appreciate your comments and I'll talk to you later. Bye crafters.